Hello and welcome to Learn from the Experts, presented by the Women Business Owners Alliance. The WBOA is made up of women entrepreneurs from the Pioneer Valley. We have a membership of over 100 women. The women that you will see in this program are all members of the WPOA and are excited to share their expertise and knowledge with you, our viewers. So sit back and relax and let them wow you with their willingness to share. I'm Kim Shagnon, owner of Kim's Upholstery, and I'm here with my co-host. Hi, and I'm Carlene Hoffman from The Clutter Doctor. Welcome. And today's expert, we'd like to introduce Miss Janet Allen from Bags, Bobbles, and Chocolates. Welcome, Janet. Welcome. And did you I'm bring us chocolates? I did not bring chocolates. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. We will do that next time. <laughs> so, Janet, tell us a little bit about how you got started with your business. We actually got started in our business um, with chocolates. We used to do fudge and chocolate road shows. And then it just kind of grew from there. We brought beads in, and then we brought different jewelry items, and we did different handbags. So we've grown from chocolates to jewelry, AKA baubles, <laughs> and other women's accessories. So it's been a blast. Great. And today I understand that you're gonna show us how to go from a day at work to an evening out. Yes, I am. And we're gonna start with Carleen. All right. <laughs> so, Janet, you know, I, I have to say I'm always confused about how to put all of this together, and I end up always carting so many different things with me. So how can I take all that and slim it down into one little bag that I can bring along? At work, during the day. Yeah. So, um, like most of us women, we have usually some sort of a tote bag. So that would be your, your bag that you're gonna use to put all of your things in, and we bring a lot of things in our bags. So if you're going out, what you might wanna do is make sure that you have a smaller bag inside of there. And this just happens to be one of our awesome three-in-one bags. Oh, wow. And so now you have a nice metallic bag that you can use as a little clutch. Okay, great. So that's one thing. Um, your jewelry pieces, what you may want to do is use a smaller piece of jewelry like you're wearing, and that would be for day, and then pick a larger piece that has a little bit of color and it has a little pop to it. Okay. Now the jacket that you're wearing is actually a reversible jacket. So you, if you wanted to, could flip it around and get a whole different look at night. So all of the girls that you were at work with during the day would think that you went home and changed or you changed in the ladies room somewhere. So, if you don't mind, we could have you flip that jacket around and we'll pop a couple other accent pieces on. But even before you do that, no, nope, we're going to do that. Go ahead, because I have another idea. So is there a ruling for scale of jewelry for during the day at work? Or can you get away with bigger things? In you today's? can get away with bigger things. The biggest thing right now are statement necklaces. Mm -hmm. Everything is statement. Statement earrings, statement bracelets, statement necklaces, because people want to make a statement when they walk into a room. So the piece that you have on, although very casual, is still a statement piece of jewelry. Mm -hmm. So it's really personal as to what you like. So when I have women come into the shop, um, I try to pick pieces that fit their personality. Mm -hmm. And that may not work for somebody else, but it works great for you. Mm -hmm. So there really is no rhyme or reason to what you would want to wear as far as what's large and what's not mm -hmm. large. So now that we have Caroline and half of her evening wear, what else will we do to her? <laughs> so we want to take that necklace off and put on something that has a little bit of wow to it. So for example, let's use that. 
it gives her a little pop of color. And to top it off, what if she were to carry that handbag with her? Now that's fabulous. So now she has a totally different look. And if you, as the weather gets a little bit warmer, or cooler I should say, which we're headed towards, you could do this. Minus the tag. Oh, this is very nice. I really like this color. And I have to say, Jana, I wouldn't have thought to pair this uh, with this jacket. So is this what we would call a pop of color? Absolutely. That's your pop of color, most definitely. So depending upon what you're wearing for jewelry, so if you wanted to take that necklace off, just wear the fur collar and go a little dressier, why not pop a nice pin in the center? So it really dresses up your outfit. Okay. So you can take a few pieces, put them in your tote bag. You can either leave it in your car, you can put it under your desk, it depends on where you're going. Right. And then you can just quickly add on a few accessories to give your outfit an evening look. Right, oh, this is fun. Very simple. And something I'm thinking of as you're doing this, if there's like, there's colors out there that I just can't wear in clothing, but there's no reason why I couldn't wear them in pocketbooks or shoes Absolutely. or jewelry accessories because they don't conflict with your skin color right. and you still get to wear that fun color that exactly. you want. Exactly. Um, orange was very popular this summer mm -hmm. and I could not wear orange around my face but I wore hand, an orange handbag quite often this mm -hmm. summer because the pop of color is fun yeah. and it attracts attention. So that is a great look. I, I think that's really cute on you. It is. It's <laughs> Thank very you. nice on you. Now, I understand you have a look for Kim as well. I do. I have a great look for Kim. So, Kim is at work. And she's going out on the town. She's I'm going to go nice, with her. She's going with her. We're okay. going together. It's a girl's night out. So here, I'm going to let you pop that on. Okay. I noticed, Janet, that that has some fur on it as well. Is fur kind of a standard thing, or does that go in and out as far as... I think it's... it, it depends. Um, there are cycles that fur becomes more popular. We're starting to see a lot of that, and, but we've always had fur. And again, I think it's a personality thing. Some people really like fur. Some people are dead set against it. And these are all faux furs. Mm -hmm. We don't use any real fur. So is the fur kind of taking away from the animal print trend that's been out there? No, still, animal print is in? huge. Oh, Absolutely <laughs> I huge. I do too. Animal print is a lot of fun. So now with that same purple necklace that you have on, what if we put a nice purple brooch on there, brought a little bit more color in, and for daytime, to go with the purple. That has a little bit of color in it, and that's a nice, you can even use this for evening. It could be day or mm -hmm. evening. I like this size bag, and I like the cloth, because I like to mix different fabrics. Yeah, fabrics and textures, I love exactly. that look. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And then for the woman that likes a larger bag, this bag is that. another three-in-one bag, and that would go with any one of these outfits. It's a very neutral color, mm -hmm. so it would match. And that also has a little bag inside of it. So you know what? You could use that little bag oh, as wow. your evening bag. Yeah. Because it's nice when you go out to have a smaller bag. You don't want to be going out with the girls for a night on the town and right. carry this big bag that you've had heavy around your shoulders. <laughs> right. <laughs> Definitely. So, Janet, um, Kim and I have something in common, and that is we are both lacking in height. So, is it Are okay? you calling me short? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I wondered, is it okay for somebody that's shorter to wear capes and ponchos? You want to you want to have it balanced out. So yes, and how you would balance that look out is you would wear a pair of tight leggings or um, just a pair of skinny jeans with that. I wouldn't wear it with a skirt. It would look out of balance. Um, a pair of high boots would look wonderful with that. 
Ponchos, capes, and shrugs are really in this season. They are. Okay. They're huge. Everywhere. You're seeing them all on the runway. You're seeing them in magazines. Hound's tooth is is really come back. Um, and heels. What's wrong with a nice pair of strappy sandals with a nice heel on it? That's going to give you some height, and it's going to elongate your legs. So that will help with the look on the cape as well. So that particular look, we can take that necklace off as well and now pop on oh, yeah. a nice pearl yeah. necklace and now you have dressed it up a little bit. A little more glam and sparkle. A little right. more glam and sparkle. Nothing wrong with that. Now how much color is too much color? Because I'm one of these people who loves color. Um, so how much can you do without being too overdone? Years ago, and I can't remember what it is, but there used to be a point system, mm -hmm. and it's the same with jewelry. Um, and for every piece of article of clothing and accessory you have on, it totals a certain amount of points. I'll get that for you so mm -hmm. that you'll that you can kind of yeah. look at it. It is fun. Um, so for everything that you have on, it would be a point. And once you reach so many points, you want to stop. So it means you might want to take something and not wear it. Mm -hmm. um, I usually try to keep somewhat monotone and bring in one or two pieces of a, of a pop of color. Mm -hmm. And necklaces, if you're going to wear a big necklace, you want to wear small earrings. Normally, if I don't wear a necklace, I'll wear larger earrings. Okay. So that's kind of because a lot of a lot of our earring or necklace pieces come with earrings. So you get them as a set, but you wouldn't normally wear them as a set. That's kind of passe. Okay. We don't really do those so things. So you don't have anymore. to have a matchy matchy anymore. No, okay. matchy matchy is actually outie outie. <laughs> 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 no more matchy matchy. And I do get people into the shop and that's one of the things that we try to focus on yeah. is let's not match because you don't need your shoes to match your bag. Yeah. You want to have it complement each other, but maybe not match. Not match. Yeah. So I'm somebody who loves pink and green. So let's say I wear a bright pink top. Is mm -hmm. it appropriate to wear a green necklace and green shoes? Or is that too much? I probably, it would depend on the green. Okay. <laughs> all right. Just <laughs> It would depend. Mm -hmm. um, and you can blend it all in. Mm -hmm. You know, you can bring another scarf that maybe has pink and the green in it and just try to blend it in. Um, just got to know where that stopping point is. Yeah. yeah. And most people know that. Yeah. You can well, look you put at it on yourself you in the go, mirror. Mm, okay. Right. Yeah. And you yeah. kind of get a feel for, yeah, maybe this isn't really working. Yeah. So, Janet, um, are there any rules and regulations about what type of necklace you would wear with a certain neckline? So, if I'm wearing a V neck, let's mm -hmm. say, are there any necklaces that I should not wear with a v-neck yes and again keeping in personality in mind um, you probably wouldn't want a longer necklace and that would not complement that neckline most people are going to wear something that's probably similar to this because your jacket is v-neck take that fur piece off <laughs> thank you so now you can see that V-line, even though you have a cami under it, yeah, that's you have... a good line. It yes, just it's kind of a nice, nicely. it's a nice line. Yeah. So um, I try to bring in, and I guess this would be a little bit of geometry, you know, you have to look at different angles of things and put different pieces together to match, not necessarily match, but complement those angles. Um, so, like my top here, I would not have a problem, obviously, putting a long scarf with that, but still wearing a shorter necklace. Okay. Now, what about crew necks? That always seems to be a tough one for me because the neckline is, is pretty much um, follows your own. Right. So, what, what would you wear for that? I would wear a longer piece. That okay. Would, that, and I didn't bring any with me today, but I would definitely wear a longer piece. Okay. And you could stack it. So you might want to wear three or four pieces so that it's graduated. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you had another jacket that you wanted someone I to do. come in and try. So, so we so will Ms. have Freda, if you Ms. Could come Freda. Over. 
So Miss Freda has been at work all day. <laughs> <laughs> and she had this jacket hidden under her desk. You're lucky I didn't steal that, Freda. No I might have borrowed that one. So that is a beautiful jacket. Again, it's a reversible jacket, so you can wear it on either side. It simply depends. The buttons, there's, you'll notice there's a button on the opposite side. Nice. And with that, whoops, I know Freda likes funky jewelry. So I'm going to let Freda put that piece on. That's always the hard that part. That was a bad suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We're here to help. There you go. Oh, I like that. I love that piece. Yeah. That's Very one pretty. of my favorite pieces. Now, so. there's an example that's really great with a neckline she Isn't has Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. yeah. And even, I, I know she wasn't planning on wearing this jacket in this segment. I kind of sprung it on her. <laughs> but the color of her top brings in a little pop it of color. Does, yep. So it is really great. Um, and again, if she wanted to use a handbag, you would use something fairly neutral. So on a different look, what we would want, if you want to dress it up a bit, is a little more bling. Let me do that. Okay. Thank you. That's pretty. Got enough sparkle going on. It is. So it's it's just a fun bracelet of uh, bracelet. It's a fun necklace. And you can do different bracelets. You want to bling her up a little bit more. Going out on the town. And stretch bracelets are great because they fit everybody's wrist. I like that. It's yeah, very nice. It gives you enough substance to it but not too much because I see nowadays it seems a lot of people layer the bracelets so you know you see them halfway, halfway up, up their, their arms. arms yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and again that's personality I right. had a young gal in the shop the other day and that's what she had you know four inches yeah, and of, it doesn't look bad but bracelets. this gives you the same feel for one right bracelet yeah. right now Janet do you have any recommendations for shopping for pocketbooks and bags you know, again, um, Kim and I are kind of small, and right. a lot of times I, I look at the bags and I'm so afraid that it's, it's something it's gonna that's going to overpower just, you. Right. Yes, exactly. Yes, yeah. and, and you want to keep that in perspective. So if you were going out on the town, you would not want to use that bag because it's too big for you. Where Freda could wear that bag. Freda could wear it. <laughs> Jealous. <laughs> and... I love that bag. That's got a, just enough, enough bling on it as well. Yeah. So, again, you want to take in the personality, and not everybody can carry off or wants to wear a lot of bling. Right. So that bag might not work for you. You definitely, this, even though this is a smaller bag, that's probably big enough for your size, where it doesn't feel too big. Right. Um, this is a great neutral bag, which you could use as well. But it's a more casual look, and that would look great with that, yeah, actually. That definitely would be a good color with this. It would. And now, is that too big for me, or no. is that a bag that would be appropriate? Definitely not. Mm -hmm. okay. And there's, there is, and I learned this probably three or four years ago when one of the company's bags that I carry came out with the infamous big bag that everybody, all the young girls were wearing. And the designer put it on and she walked around and she said, the bigger the bag, the smaller the butt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's no. kind of a distraction, <laughs> right? <laughs> it is a distraction. <laughs> it's all about balance and proportion, yeah. especially with a handbag. Well, this has been great. Janet, thank you so much for coming to our show today. Oh, thank you for having me. And thank you for watching to lo learn more about Janet's business or to learn more about WBOA. Please visit www.wboa.org. Have a great day. <laughs>